What's going on guys? Diddy here. So I've had a few requests uh, to make a video and I make coins. There's plenty of different ways to make coins. Um, first off, I would always recommend doing your challenges. If you're not level 50 already, just go into the Missions Ultimate Season tab. And you can see it says Ultimate Season Rewards. And for each level up you get, you get coins. You can get 10,000, 23, 22, you get this power pass, you get packs, you get 10k there. For you're almost at level 50 already, but if you're starting from the beginning, you get 10k. You get all these packs, all these rewards. So that's like one of the main ways. Just do the challenges, you get coins from that. Um, another way also that I did for you guys to show it, it's a little time consuming but uh, doing the get a player it's under the feature you go to the bottom right and get a player it's 500 coins roll about 10k worth of coins here I'll show you guys an example well there we get 69 Martin but I went ahead and like I said rolled 10k and all I did was double the price on the auction house for it. So 500 went for like a thousand, but uh, I'll show you guys right here. So my auctions, the newest, like I said, I did about 10K. So obviously I don't win on all of them, but it started right here. So you're spending 500 and you want to try at least double it. Some people are doing the same thing, so you'll notice prices. If you want to be patient and just put it up for a thousand, wait for it to sell. I undercut a few people just like instead of a thousand, put nine hundred. But this one's a thousand, so I got about five hundred coins, four hundred coins. This one I got oh, what seven hundred fifty coins, five hundred. I mean, you guys can see this. I actually pulled an eighty-two J. Spear Paul, who I sold for four thousand, so I made thirty-five hundred uh, coins just off of one card. So I think when I cashed out last, or I was, when I was done rolling, I was at uh, 7 mil, 200, and 3,000, and I started with two, 7 mil, 200, 13,000. So I made 13,000 in about, what, half an hour, I think it was. So you guys just kind of go through and do that uh, get a player method. I'll show you, I think I have two in my binder right now. I saved to show the price to, like, some cards you get lucky with these get a golds. Like, for example, I think it was this tight end. Like, he was going for, like, 3500 a minute ago. Yeah, look, 3400 4500 4700 So if you want to just make quick profit, just put in for 2000 or put 3000 2500 and it'll sell. Like, you can get really lucky with some of these cards out of the get-up player because if you get power-ups, like Jalen Hurts power, I think it's going for, like, over 200 k right now. Um... And there's just a bunch, a bunch of products to be made here. You just gotta be patient. So we'll roll a few more. So you get six, seven. And if you don't want to sit and wait and sell some of these, just put them in the exchange sets and try and get power ups that way. So here we get a gold. Josh Reynolds. See what he recently went for. Someone sold for uh, 550, 3400. Someone bought it for. I mean, it's all fluctuate. You just gotta do about 10k. And see where you're at because I think the max you can put on the uh, auction house at one time is I think 20 cards. So just go through here and just keep rolling to get a player and then just post them back up for the auction. He's just getting started. Yeah, that guy's belly. Jesus. All right. So just do this. We'll do like one or two more. See if we get anything good. Of course, I'm pulling all silvers while I'm making this. But I had pretty good luck earlier, like I said, with that J. Spear Paul. You get luck and get an elite every here and there. But, you know, people are making theme teams, so they need these low silvers just to fill up the slots. But, you know, you're, you're pretty much never going to make less than that 1,000 back. So you're going to make at least 500 back each time. There's no real method to making hundreds of thousands of coins, you know, to every 10 minutes, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd be twice as rich as I was, but also you can also, um, you can do sets, 
And right now I notice that the Ricky Williams set for the the Team Diamond is really expensive. So you can, I think he was going for about 200k right now. So I mean you can build these team builders, these ones with just gold and elites. And so they're just straight buying out, right? Or if it's like 3 or 4k, no, nah, I see they're going for 11k. So just go through. And like I was telling other people, just go through this, uh, the auction house or roadmut.gg and look at how much the card's going for. And you guys can build the sets or just build the pieces that go into the sets with the team builders. And you guys can make coin that way. Like, for example, that one card for uh, Ricky Williams right now. The, you could do three elites and three golds. Gold. For the 75, I mean, you saw I got one of those 75s you could probably put for like, or try and buy from someone for about 1,000k each. So say that's 3,000. Low elites, earlier we're going for about two, so two, four, six, say seven, eight, nine. It's like 2k profit off of these. It's just, it all adds up in the end. That's the main important thing. Everything adds up, but it just takes time. So just go through these sets and see if you can snipe cards for like, say, the team of the week. Say, okay, say the, the George cut earlier. I happened to snipe one of these for 170. And I ended up turning around and selling them today for 290. So, but like if you want to do this, 90 overalls or 65k might be, that's probably too much for this. But just go through sets, go to the auction house or go to mutt.gg and see who's going for the most and you can put together for cheap. That's basically the real way to make coins right now unless you buy bundles and stuff. But there's nothing really even good in the bundles right now. So we'll do a few more get a get a player to see what we get. But just the method that seems to work all year is just get a player. I would just do this and just resell the price and just wait and then an hour later, you know, put them up for auction, come back in an hour, half an hour even, see what's sold. And then just keep doing it over and over, get the next 10k. Just do 10k at a time, that way you're not wasting your coins. But like I said, I got like, you got a, an elite, but there are elites in here. Even the campus heroes. Um, or in these, anything elite. I think the highest I pulled once was like an 84 legend out of it. But just, I mean, this guy most recently sold for... So he's not a plus there, but if we go to the auction house, he might actually be a little more now because this one's sold. So let's just pull a few more and check. All right, let's go back. Some of those silver are just crazy prices. Don't know why, but maybe they're just hard to pull. All right, let's see what he's going for. So then we'll put him basically right back at the price we got him for. We got 1900 for that. So we just, just to, if we just want to get rid of him nice and quick, just put him up for, you know, say 1400 at least made 900, 900 back. I'll show you what Hearn's going for. For 500, there's no real profit there. You can either hold it or just to break even, just put it up to like, what, 555, I think it is. But I mean, at least you know you pretty much won't lose because you can at least put it back up for the price that you bought it for. Like a thousand to years, I got 500 recording profit there. The big belly guy, what's he going for? Dang, big belly guy's going for a lot. Why? What is he sold for? Look, 3,300, 2,500, 4,900, 2,500. So right there, I could put them for, say, 3,000. I just made 2,500 off of a 500 coin pack. So, this is my best bet for you guys to do. Is just do the get a player, the gap method, they call it. It never fails. Um, that's what I would suggest for you guys. All right, appreciate you guys all subbing to the channel. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. And if there's anything else I can do for you guys, just let me know. Thanks.